Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Into the Breach. We just finished with this island. We are going to spend our rep before we leave the island because that's important. We need some more reactors, not necessarily a bad idea. What is this? Mechs to use bonuses from Vexion. Interesting. It does require power. It's an interesting idea. The thing is... And that is a super interesting idea. Most of the time we want to destroy those Scions like first thing because they are so freaking annoying. I don't know. I don't know. Just moving or That means basically you're committing yourself to just moving around the back. Which might be fine for another group of mechs, but not these guys. Our projectile that heavily damages the target and pushes adjacent tiles. Oh yeah, that's like a hell of a lot of damage. Damage three. Only one use per battle, though. I'm not sure about that. Only one use per battle. Yeah, it's a science class weapon. You can't do anything with that. That's also a science class weapon. Also can't do anything with that. Um, so I'm tempted to give this up. Because we've only used it once. And not even, like, a really good scenario. So I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah, yeah, I'm dropping it. Bye-bye. The boosters is good. I like the boosters. I mean, I didn't use it last time, and that's dumb. But so it goes. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just buy a reactor core and then fill up the rest with grid power because I've been doing really poorly, and we need this freaking grid power. We need it. We need it. Um, yeah, there you go. Maybe not ideal, but I think that's the way it goes. Okay, so then you have power available. Let me put it into... I mean, we do have a spare reactor core, too. Couldn't we get so you do more damage? That could maybe help us out. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. More damage for you. Okay, we can leave the island. Right, we've now unlocked Detra's Disposal. Now, this is a super difficult island, from what I understand. Um, or, we just finish our current game. I think I'm going to do this, because I would love a win on the Riftwalkers. Now, it's only a three-island win, it's not a four-island win, but it's still a win. Assuming we actually, you know, survive this. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the Volcanic Hive. We will do this, and we will we will eventually do this next. Um, we will eventually do it. I was going to say next time. Not sure it's next time it's going to happen. But definitely for this run, I think just taking a win would be good. I'm not sure our mechs are exactly in a great spot right now. But I think we're in a good enough spot where I think we can take the Volcanic Hive and just go for it. So let's do it. Your humanity's last hope. Absolute freaking lootly. Okay, so. Man, these guys. I hate these guys. The Alpha Diggers. They're annoying as all hell. Alpha Beetle. And Alpha Firefly. Because of course they're all Alphas. Because you want me to die. Now we do have more damage on the tank. Which will help. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's as close as it gets to exact. And we don't actually have anything to protect right now. It just says survive the fight. Oh, do we have... Okay, so we have no power pylons. So now we need to protect these. Okay. So that's going to open up some lava flows. If we can knock these guys in the lava flows, that'd be good. Right, so unfortunately that means the grid defense... Grid defense is going to be a problem. So, what do we do? I mean, the obvious thing to do here is to knock these away, right? It's pretty obvious. Yeah. If I do that, then I think that opens up a spot for the mech to walk in and beat up the Alpha Digger. I believe that's true. 
Plus it blocks the spawn, and you know, I love blocking spawns. So do it. Yeah, go for it. Okay, then yeah, you can step right up over here. And that lets us do the Titan Punch, which I believe murders you because that does two damage by itself. Plus I'm knocking you into a rock, but that kills you, right? It does kill you. And then that just leaves you. Um, what do I do with you? I would love to knock you around, but I don't know if that's actually possible. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, shooting you down first would not work. I can shoot you and knock you into my mech. Camilla is not going to love that plan. Because <laughs> it hurts her. But, but... It does do an additional damage to this guy. Doesn't kill him, obviously, but... Yeah, the problem is he'll do three damage to this guy, so we gotta move this guy anyway, right? Oh. Okay. Um, no, that's still bad, because, right, he charges. I totally forgot he charges. If I punch you down... Let's say I push you down. That's two damage to you. Then I do three damage to you when I hit you with this guy. Maybe killing this guy is more important than killing this guy. I mean, he's going to do two damage to everything. That kind of sucks. But if I move out of the way, then he's going to do three damage to this. He's going to destroy it completely. I could... Can I pick you up and move you? I can only do that if I knock you down first. Then I can pick you up and move you, and then you crash into a mountain. But then I can't punch this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Well. Then we gotta choose. Well, I think it's a pretty simple calculation, right? Either this thing gets destroyed, or these two get destroyed. The math is simple, right? One is less than two. That's the simplest math I can even give you right now. So, yeah. Um, what we could do is just take the damage on the chin. We can do it. It's three damage. It'll hurt. But I think we still do the same plan of knocking this guy around like a pinball. We don't have any objectives for taking less damage. So, I think that's what we do. So yeah, so we uh, we pinball you. It's gonna hurt our tank, but it's also gonna hurt our mech. But we have less guys to deal with, so yeah, that does a significant amount of damage. That is three damage. That was only need to do two next turn, and we can do that with our tank. So yeah, it's gonna hurt with our tank, but I'm gonna take it. Let's do it. Kind of worried there for a second that I miscalculated the number of tiles the uh oh it pushed us aside, but that's okay. The number of tiles the lava went, but still work. Oh, of course we didn't block the frickin' scion, because that would be too easy. Okay. Well, yeah, you can hurt me there. You can do that. I don't know why you want to do that. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Oh, okay, he's launching stuff. Okay, well, I think the obvious thing to do is to shoot here, right? Shoot here, that dunks him into the lava. Moves him onto a spawn. Um, what do you what do? you do? All player units take one damage in this area. Oh, okay, you know what? Fuck that. Uh, what we do instead is we fire on this guy. Um, I don't know, that still doesn't work out well for me do this instead, I think that's better. Then we can at least punch the Scion. Yeah. Yeah, punch the Scion. Uh, do something with this guy. I don't know what. Push him down, maybe, with the tank? Can we get the tank over there? We can. We can get the tank over one. We can get him over here. Yeah, he gets over this way, and then I don't know why he has a he has a weird icon next to him. 
Anybody else have that? Yeah, they all have that. I have no idea why all the mechs have that weird icon. That little tentacle grab. What the hell is that? Okay, but anyway, the tank can move over here. And... Knock this guy down one. I would love to move him over here, but come on, it's not going to happen. Um, the Scion's going to take... No damage. He's going to take damage there. Oh, you know what? Our mech's not actually going to be able to move there, is he? Even if I move everybody else aside? I think they can effectively move diagonally. Okay, what I could do is you attack here. It doesn't kill anybody, though. Doesn't kill the Scion. Yeah, it doesn't kill this guy. I don't know. Attacking here is good. It just doesn't do a lot of damage. And it moves my mech onto a fire spot. So we absolutely need to move the mech. But we can do that anyway, right? Because the mech hasn't moved. Yeah, the mech has not moved. I'm assuming if we attack here, then everybody else gets pushed. And then we can move the mech somewhere else. If we can't... And this Scion stays, that means the mech's going to take damage. It means everybody's going to take one damage because of the Scion. Um, but then this guy dies. No, he won't die. He'll take one damage from this and that's it. Well, then we figure out a way to kill him. But for right now, I think we just got to move these guys. Dunking one guy in the in the drink is probably the best thing to do there. Okay, can I move? I cannot move you where I want to. I don't want to move you. I mean, I guess what I could do is flip you. Actually, if I pushed you, that would be really good. I can do two damage to you and push you that way. Trouble is then I stay in the way. And I obviously don't want to stay here. Yeah, it's not a great move for me either way. I kind of wish I could push you not only down but back, but back I think just drowns you. The main reason why I want to push you back is so that you attack this guy. But I think that's probably just wishful thinking. I think we just move the mech. Yeah. I would love to do something really creative and clever, but I don't know what that would be exactly. So I think you just... Punch this guy down. Yeah, I really wish you did three damage to this guy, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I really want to push you over. If I punch you, that means you die next turn. We're going to take four damage this turn, though. It's pretty nuts. We still have three turns to live through. Yeah, because this guy will give us one damage. This guy will hit us for three. Then he dies, which is something. I really wish we still had sidestep on you, but that was like, you know, 15 episodes ago? I don't know, maybe not 15. Yeah, we gotta move the mech, otherwise it just dies. Obviously, we can't let our mech die, that'd be bad. We don't want to push the... Oh, you know what we could do? Over here, and then throw you in the lava, right? Yeah, that just kills you instantly. Well, I like that a lot better than just letting you live. Okay, no, I'm good with this. Bye-bye. And the drink you go. I think actually Camilla... Oh, no, she's not actually max level yet. Okay. So we're going to take one damage from this guy. He's going to take one damage from the spawn. He still lives, unfortunately. And then we get two more guys to work with. So we'll see how that works. Right. Okay, so that was what that was. Okay, that's what that symbol was. That was a scion attack. Okay. I'm caught up. Now our tank is almost dead. So we gotta do something about that. Okay, Red Earl Scarab. That is an Alpha Hornet. Hate that. Tank has gotta move. Okay, quite the configuration of events here. 
So the tank can not do much here. Not in a way that saves its skin, that's for sure. It's got to move. But that's not a good place to move to. But what are you going to do? I guess we can move here. Move you out of the way. Move you out of the way, maybe like here. Okay, what am I thinking? Well, I'm thinking that at the very least, the tank can shoot the Scion, right? That doesn't seem to be a problem. Um, this guy is going to hurt this. So I would love to make sure that doesn't happen. How do we do that? Well, we could try pushing this guy up one. Can we do that? No, no, this guy can only move a certain distance here. Now, it could block another spawn, but then this guy is still shooting. That's still bad. We could punch it down. That could work. And then he'll be over shooting empty air again. Um, let's see. So, let's see. The tank shoots a scion. Alright? That can happen. Then, the mech goes over... Oh, actually, the mech needs to move before the tank shoots a scion, but, okay. Let's just assume that happens. We need to place the mech then somewhere. Well, what could be nice is if the mech didn't have to move first. Because then we can vice grip this guy and move him onto a spawn. Since he has one health, he died of the spawn. That doesn't help this at all, though. Now, it might help if we took you and shot here. That would actually save... Yeah, that would save the building next to the artill artillery. It would kill the Scion. Make sure the tank can move somewhere else. Where did the tank move? Can't move very far, can he? Yeah, that's about it. There's a mountain in the way if he moves here. And other than that, there's just everybody in the way. Yep, I don't see much else the uh, tank can do, though. So that doesn't solve the problem with this Alpha Hornet. He's going to destroy this, these two things of power, and that's going to be it. Well, can we solve that problem? I don't think we can. I mean, I can move you into here, right? That basically moves you aside. But, the guy's doing two grid worth of damage, or two squares worth of damage. So that doesn't actually help me. I need to move the Alpha Tornet down one. That would be okay. But I don't think I can actually do that, right? Yeah, not with you. I can Titan Fist. And that would hurt you. Okay. That's doable. That does two damage to him, and he's knocked away and does damage here. So we shoot... We could shoot here the artillery. If I do that, that knocks one of the scarabs into the fire. Won't kill it, but does block a spawn? Yeah, the trouble is, it's got to kill this guy. The reason is, the tank's going to die. The damage we took before. Now, we could repair the tank. We can move it off to the side, maybe move it over here, in fact, and then repair. That would give us one extra turn. Now, the trouble is that it's not going to, uh, it's not going to be doing anything, which means this guy still does whatever he wants to do, which is do three damage to these, which is crazy. If I can move him up, that would be great, but I can't. Unless, of course, we move you over here, and then we do move you up this way. That does block a spawn and kills the scarab. 
which means the scion is alive for another turn. Um, actually, hold on, attack over here, I think we were on the verge right there, so what we do, you up, you up, you can still attack the Scion, you do your Titan Punch, you move him up, he attacks the Scarab, he dies, he blocks the spawn, he gets hurt by one, yeah, 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 see I was on the verge, and this is why we don't commit until I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so let's let's rock and roll. This this looks like this is gonna work. So you go up. You open fire. Doesn't block a spawn, but you know what? At least that way we're not taking damage just natively. And then you knock you over. And it looks like all of our grid power is safe. Scarab dies before he actually does any damage. He takes one damage. I think we're in a good spot. I think we're in a good spot. Okay, lava's going everywhere, but at least our mechs are on the right side of it. Okay, good. He dies. He does nothing. Scarab pops out. Oh, one of these blob guys. I hate these guys. Okay. So the blob guy's going to shoot something in a bad spot. It's going to happen. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, so this guy's going to die immediately. I mean, the volcano is going to open fire. That's going to be it. It's over. What about you guys? Well? Well? Well, well. Oh, well, well. So our tank does two damage now, but unfortunately it's in a pretty bad spot. We could shoot here, but unfortunately we really want to shoot this guy. It doesn't really help us. We could kill... Could we kill this guy? We want to dedicate some resources to it. Yes. Um, I don't know exactly how we do that, but I think... Oh, no, I'm just in a bad spot up here, huh? I can move one square. If I move down here, I'm dead. I can move one square over in case I wanted to go here instead. But the only reason to do that is to launch here or here. The thing is, I don't want to save this guy's life. I don't know. Sometimes you got to save your enemies' lives in order to uh, in order to save the world. Move here. Okay, so if I don't move, I fire here. Again, it saves the guy's life. But it also saves our grid. Um, the thing is... Okay, we're just in a bad spot all around, huh? I mean, shoot, punching this is not a bad idea. Especially if it does three damage. I was not expecting it to do three damage. Come over here. Okay, you're doing three. Oh, and you're also doing three. Okay, sure, everybody's doing three today. Of course, he's not actually doing three, because he's going to die. So come over here, punch you, takes you up one, hit you again. I hit you again, so I can punch you up, and then punch you down, and then you're dead. And then you're never a problem again, although we have a victory in one turn. So we just have to survive. Can we survive with no grid damage? Well, maybe. The tank can't hit this blob. The only thing that can hit this blob is this guy. He's not actually in any danger because this guy's going to die. Unless we do something stupid. Which we might, but let's try not to. So yeah, the blob, he's annoying, but I think he lives this time. So I think, yeah, this guy's the only one that can hurt this one, so it's what he does. Yeah, that's what he has to do. Is he punches it, it dies. Or throws it in the water, whichever. Throwing it in the water would be a little bit more cinematic. It would make sense. It's a bomb, you know. Typically what you do with a bomb in a movie, especially a mech movie, is you throw it in the water, right? So, yeah. Alright, so he throws it in the water. You come over here, I guess. And... Do what? Okay, no, this could work. This could work. Um, 
Scarab doesn't take any damage in this scenario. What I was thinking is we kill the Alpha Hornet. We can do this one or two ways. First off, we fire shot here. Yeah, yeah, so what, the, what happens is this guy shoots, kills off this guy immediately, hurts this guy for one. This guy shoots here, kills the Hornet for one, knocks this guy back, but since this guy is doing damage, he won't be doing damage to us anymore, he'll be pushed back. And actually doing damage to where the Hornet was. Obviously, he's not going to be there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the plan. That means the grid doesn't take any damage. We don't take any damage either, I don't think. Okay. So, first thing we do, open fire. Second thing we do is open fire. Okay. Good. And then you... Um, let's throw it in the water because that's more cinematic. There you go. Okay, looks like we're free and clear. Victory. Just one fire damage, nobody cares. Kinda wish I could have thrown a guy into the blaze there, but you know, didn't work. Okay. Oh right, okay, yeah, I've seen people's I've always seen other people's gameplay. I know what happens. We drop into the next area. Oh, and look at that. A bunch of alpha guys. And unfortunately, we're not clustered where I want to be, but... Okay, power pilots, sure. Yeah, I, I agree. It's definitely beyond our capabilities to exterminate. How? What do we do? Okay, we get a bomb. Defend it while it primes, and then we jump out. Oh, nice! Nice! I like that it killed the guy. That's actually great, because that's a really annoying guy to deal with. Okay. We just have to protect the bomb. That's it. For five turns, but... Okay, so there's the bomb thrower there. I don't like that. All we have to do is protect the bomb. The grid actually doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't get to zero, we're good. So... What do we do here? If I can push you up... Sadly, I don't think I can reach you to do that. Yeah, I can't actually do that. That's too bad. What I can do is blow this bomb up, right? I can push this bomb. That'll destroy it, because it only has one health, right? So I do that with the tank. Um, let's see. If I move you over here... Yeah, this guy's going to shoot or charge either way bad. We need to be out of his way anyway. Oh, he's going to shoot in both directions. I got you, I got you, I got you. Four damage, that's crazy. I'm glad we healed between, somehow. Nobody knows how. Um, we don't want to Titan Punch, right? Because that would just destroy us. So I can move over here instead, shoot you so you drop down. I could block a spawn. Oh, and then move you over, and that would just kill you. I like that plan. Okay, so this guy, I think, shoots here. Does some damage, no big deal. Yeah, um, he's going to shoot this thing, though. Is there any way we can stop him from doing that? Yes, yes there is. I knock him down one, and he drops into lava. I like that plan better, because it kills him immediately, and we don't have to deal with him ever again. And this guy does 4 damage. Actually, he might not even get a chance to do 4 damage to this guy. Yeah, he's not going to get a chance, because this happens first, right? Environment happens first, yeah. So he's not going to get a chance to do anything. He just dies. But I'm okay with that. Um, so then, I mean, I would love to knock him over, but that's not actually going to solve any problems. Because then he still hurts this. So yeah, we just push him down. Love to do something else, but we can't. Then we gotta do that first with the tank, right? Yeah, this guy first, knock him into lava. This guy second, knock him down. And then use Vice Grip to throw this guy into an instant death zone. And then we only have the two guys left. This guy here, and this guy here. Now, granted, this guy is fucking annoying, and I wish he would die. But we don't have a choice right now. 
Um, I would love to blow this up. But I can't right now, can I? I mean, I could. I could. Either way, it sacrifices one of the pylons. Um, it doesn't take care of this guy permanently, though. It doesn't take care of this guy permanently, either. I don't see a way to take care of him permanently, though. No, I mean, I'd love to throw him into one of these, but he's not positioned right for that. See, I think either way, a pylon's going to take damage. Either I shoot this now, or I shoot him down. Either way, it's going to hurt. I think we just take what we can get. We don't have to worry about the grid. As long as the grid has enough to launch the bomb, we're good. So, let's do this. Take the drink, you go. And then you move you guys into a death zone, and then we're good. I mean, I would love if that was true, but it's not. Um, anyway. You go squish. You go squish. Somehow the tank leveled up with that? How does that work? Right. We lost some power. Oh, we actually lost two grid. I did not realize that we lost two grid power for that. Of course, we're in all the instant death zones. How does that work? Okay, we can't let the bomb get destroyed, obviously. Okay, so we've got to shoot. I think what we do is we back up over here, we shoot this down. That'll destroy it. Um, you can just move, I guess. Where? I mean, I can only move down this direction. Pinning's not really going to work out for me. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, the bomb needs to be safe, right? That's no question. So, we shoot down here, and that saves the bomb. If I move you here so I can punch this guy or throw him in the way, that would actually be better, right? How much damage do you do? You do three damage. That won't kill this guy, but it'll definitely wound him. I'm okay. No, actually, it will kill him because the throw itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then this guy dies forever. We never can worry about him again. Okay. And then this guy is unfortunately not in a great spot. So, what we could do is go here, and then we throw it here. I mean, it doesn't save the grid power, and that sucks. It's doing three damage. Why is it always three damage? We're going to lose another two grid. Is there an alternative? I don't really see an alternative. So the thing is, we need this guy to live, right? Pushing him onto here is a nice idea, but doesn't actually help us. Because then it doesn't kill this guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So then, that is not a good spot for... I mean, we could shoot here instead. And then that does save the grid power. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any problems with that. Um, unless you're attacking... Oh, you are attacking there, too, as well. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Is there a better way to do this? So... He can't stay there. He can't. Otherwise, I would say just punch up. Um, but that doesn't actually help us. We could... Let's see. What we could do, we do instead. Let's see, I take some of his own medicine. 
what I mean by that is we move down here. We move, I don't know, use somewhere, I don't know where. Let's say here. And then we, um, yeah, so this might work. So what we can do then is push the wasp over one, use you to fire here, that pushes this down one. Then it hurts this guy and it hurts this guy. It won't kill you, it won't kill you either, but it'll definitely hurt both of you. That's something, not a whole lot, but it's something. And then you need to go somewhere. Where would you go? Where'd you go? Because you still need to protect this, and we can't do that if you're standing here, because then you just die. We would protect a spawn, but that doesn't actually help us either. We can just take the damage. Don't love that idea. It's a lot of damage. Just take on the chin. Yeah, I love the idea more when I was hurting you or killing you. So we could still do that, right? We could still do that. We could still move you over here. And then vice grip you over. Then you die when this guy shoots you. Then you're done. Then I never have to deal with you again. Okay. Can I move you in a good spot? I cannot. I can move you down one. But you've really got to shoot this wasp. So that... Actually, you shoot the wasp, then this guy kills you. So yeah, that'll kill you there. When I push this over. Okay. I don't see another way... To, I don't see a way to save this pylon. I don't see a way to do it. I think we lose two grid, unfortunately. Unless it resists by some miracle. Doesn't seem very likely. That's why they call it a miracle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we have to do. Can't stay in our spots, so... I think that's the only safe thing to do right now. So we'll launch over here. Oh. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, that might be a problem I'm okay with, because it does make it so he takes one more damage. It means we take damage too, but I'm actually maybe okay with this. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and... I think that's okay. You go ahead and make him go into the fire zone. Right, you do two damage now. I totally forgot that was the thing. And then you go ahead and put you over. So you're gonna die. You get hit there. You're gonna die when that explodes. Um, you are unfortunately gonna destroy that. I hate that, but so it goes. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. So two more grid damage down. That was interesting. 4 XP to somebody. Power lost. Alright. Yeah, resistance was pretty unlikely. Okay, but the bomb is safe. And that's the important thing. Victory in three turns. We really can't sacrifice any more grid damage. Can't make it. We can't let that happen. So, we're in a weird spot now. We come up here. Shoot you, dropping the drink. I think that's a pretty safe move. And we move over here. We shoot here. One of them drops into the drink. The other one, actually nothing happens to you. Right? Because you just get pushed, but that doesn't actually solve my problem. What I do instead, move down here, push you that way. One of you goes into an instant death zone. One of you hurts my tank. It's not a great idea. Who was first here? How much damage do you do? You do three damage. That is not enough to kill you. Okay, is there a way I can hurt you without... I will just push you into the drink. Huh. Ha ha ha. Well? I can kill you. I come over here and I Titan Punch. 
That should work, right? Because that'll just kill you instantly. So I can come over here and shoot you and drop you into the drink. You instant die. Assuming I do use you... Yeah, the problem is that doesn't take care of the scarab. Now, the scarab only does one damage, but it's very likely they'll just destroy it. But these guys are going to destroy it. So one damage will only take us to one grid power. We're losing so much grid power every single turn here. We don't really have much in the way of choice, though, do we? We have four enemies and only three tanks to deal with them. What we could do instead is move the mech to throw this guy in the drink, right? Vice Grip will do that. Um, we could do also... Okay, never mind. I thought maybe we'd be able to do something really clever, but no. I thought maybe we could come in close to this guy. Um, when he was pushed aside, come over here and then move him over so he attacked this guy, but that's not actually going to work. And it wouldn't do enough damage to kill him anyway. This guy's got to die, I think. The only way that happens if the tank moves. And the tank's got to move up here to knock this guy down. Oh, he's only going to do one damage, really? He's not an alpha beetle, that's why. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, we could move the scarab down one. But he only does one damage, so that's still not enough to kill this guy. Down one would block a spawn. If I go into lava, do I just die? Inflicts fire and surviving units. So, not great for us. Still survivable, though. So my main thinking is... What am I thinking here? I mean, I could flip you down here, right? Flip you down. So you're then you're firing this way. The artillery strike could go over here. Now, no, the artillery strike's gotta go. It's gotta go where? Okay, actually, it could go here. Then that drops you into the drink. It doesn't do any damage to you, though. I think the tank shooting here is the only viable option for the tank. Because he can't move very far anyway to be able to be able to hit these guys, right? Oh no, he can shoot over here. Shoot this guy over. He'll do some damage. But I don't know if that'll knock the rhino over or not. Do we know what the damage this guy does? That's a massive goo, but it doesn't seem to knock the tank over when he does it. So we could just take damage from that. But okay, let's say the tank does that. Let's say he shoots that over there. Okay. Then what about this guy? Um. Well. What could happen is we knock this guy over. We move this guy down one. We shoot this guy, drop him into the drink. Then we move this guy over here. Over here, I guess. And then drop him into the drink. Still taking one damage here. Which sucks, but I think that was going to happen anyway. Yeah, these guys are both doing three, so we can't let that stand. This guy's doing one, or this guy's doing one. Either way, we were taking one damage from that. Now, if we're lucky, this guy's shot will push him into the drink, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, he just dies. I forgot we do two damage on that now. Um, that's still okay. I mean, that still takes damage. We were only... Yeah, it was a guess whether or not that was going to hit anything, so that's actually still okay. We're not blocking any spawns, unfortunately, but so it goes. Okay. 
and then we throw you in the drink. So the rhino, the rhino beetle is still attacking. We have not used the reset turn yet, so we could do that. Power lost. We expected that. One more turn. That's all we need to do. Survive one more turn, then bomb blows up. So he's dead. No worries. So we don't even have to worry about that guy. It's only these guys. So, interesting spot here. Wait, how does that work? We have victory in one turn. Why do we get spawns? That's weird. That's very weird. I don't get that. So I think the easy thing to do is to artillery strike where our mech is, right? Move our mech away somewhere. I don't know care where, really. Um, yeah, I mean, down there is good. We artillery strike here. That pushes you down, pushes you up. Pushes you towards me. Because I take one damage. Um, but then the grid is safe, as far as I know. Okay, let's see if we can do something really clever here. Let's see if anything clever can happen. I think you just move, right? Because that just moves you away. I can knock you up. That might be better than using your artillery. So you do... Yeah, you do two damage there. So the artillery can then move somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Here would be bad. Don't do that. You can move up here. And then attack here. And that would... Not kill you. Not a great idea. Is there a way to murder you? Yeah, the artillery unfortunately needs to get in the way in order to actually do something here. Let's see. I'll move you down here. Maybe after the tank shoots. Move you down there, and then move you back? That's ridiculous. That doesn't make any damn sense. I could do is flip him into the drink. That might not be a bad idea. So yeah, I flip you into the drink. Um, I don't think you die because you can fly, right? So you don't actually go into the drink? It does stop you from doing damage to a power pylon, though. That's really the most important thing. Um, what we can also do is move this tank up here. If I shoot you down this way, then I think that means you miss, right? Very likely. Yeah, so you don't die when I flip you over, but then you won't be hurting the pylon either. And that's really the most important thing, because that's two damage to the grid. We don't want that. You would theoretically do one damage to the grid, except for the fact you're going to die. Somehow, this is safe. I don't understand it, but okay. Is there anything else we want to do? I mean, we could. We could? No, we can't. We can't. I thought we could. We can't. I thought we'd be able to get up on top of here, shoot this guy down, and that would kill this guy, but that's we can't actually do that. We can just make him miss. That's all we can do. Assuming that's the way that actually works. Yeah, okay, so he misses entirely. His stack is cancelled because it would be going off in this direction. Um, yeah, so we flip you over that way. First, it doesn't kill you. Hurts our mech, but big deal. So you're the only one who lives here in this scenario. So, um, what do we do with you? I don't really have much to do with you right now. Um, how about you come down here... And I don't even know, man. Go shoot this. Hurts the wasp a little bit, but we're on our last turn. We win. Yeah, like, sure, why not? Kill this guy, then you get experience. Not that you need it, you're Prospero, you actually have complete experience. Um, what I could do is maybe save the damage, right? What I mean by that is we come down here, we shoot here, and we make sure the wasp can't hit anybody. Yeah, okay. Saves us the damage. It doesn't actually matter, because, again, victory in one turn. Unless we drop again. I don't know if that's true or not. We'll see. It's kind of where we get Vex spawning, though. Right, he died. He zooms. He attacks nothing. 
Okay, so yeah, we just leave. So that was weird. We get a mech spawn. I guess because this is their hive. And away we go. So we've actually won a game. We meet again when every timeline has been saved. Every timeline? How many timelines are there? Aren't there infinite? Okay, so there goes Prospero. And that goes Kaboom. Alright, so we technically won. Didn't do a four island victory, but we did do a three island victory. Our first victory. I probably would have been better saved um, in our first game by just going from the first island to the hive, and that would be it. It's definitely a thought. It's definitely a thought. 13,000 lives saved. Hey, we saved 4.6 billion lives, though. That's pretty good. But Camilla, Fox, and Prospero, who do we take with us? I think Camilla, right? Because Camilla is immune to webbing and most other status effects. I think she's got to come with us. I think it's got to happen. Just a guess, though. Um, all right, so we're going to let the credits roll for the first time. I think next time we will totally skip them, but... All right, so... I mean, that was tough. That was definitely hard. That was... That was difficult. Going for a four-line island victory is going to be even more difficult. I think we're done with the Riftwalkers for now, though. We're going to move on to another team. I don't know who that is yet. I guess we'll figure it out. Chewbacca 77. It's worth there's 77 of them. Discord? The community tester Discord? As in the uh, voice chat app? Not really a voice chat. Voice... Uh, well, I mean, it does voice chat, but it also does text chat and lets you create rooms and bunch of other stuff. And Veritas, which I'm pretty sure is a... It's a service of some kind. I don't remember what it is. Okay, so let's press any continue to continue here. Timeline saved. We got all three pilots living, which is good. Secured three. Played for four hours. Yeah, no kidding. That was four episodes, right? And press any key to continue. It's not working. Press escape. There we go. No, no, that didn't work. Enter. Mouse click. Spacebar. I have no idea. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me today. Um, we'll be back, of course, to save another timeline, maybe with Camilla. Thank you for watching. This has been Into the Breach. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.